guys is the nocturnal kit next and as you can see we are pretty much done fermenting where are we down below 1.0 okay so at this point what I'm going to do I think this one may be able to get a little drier let's see what do we got here? Can make sure you're not on top of the grape pack. Yeah, this one maybe could get a little bit drier, but I'm going to rack it anyway. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rack that to a carboy. But I first need to take out, if you remember, this has the grape pack in it. The grape skins. So I'm going to need to fish that out. See? I'm going to take that sucker. And I'm going to squeeze it. And try not to make a mess. Now, you know, some people I see do this stuff on top of white carpets. <laughs> That's just freaking crazy, man. Good way to get yourself into trouble. So, again, everything that touches the wine has to be very clean. Your hands, your spoon, your carboy, everything. my hands, get my tester again to make sure that we're not crazy. Yeah, okay. So this is at 1.0. Now, I think that could go drier than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer this to a carboy, wait a couple weeks, and see that it's gone lower. So that's the next step. That's what we're going to do. So, all right, so I'm taking out my hydrometer, taking out my spoon. So I'm doing that with the all-in-one wine pump once again. So you got my all-in-one over there, and I'm transferring from one to the other. Hit the power. All right, so I'm racking now with the all-in-one wine pump, and as it as it racks, it um, also degasses the wine at the same time, which is an extra added benefit. Now, because this has sawdust in it, one of the things that just happened is as I started racking it, some of the sawdust got stuck in here. So I had to take it apart and rinse it out and start over again. So here we are, and I'm racking, and uh, let's let that go to the end.
But one of the things I want to show you is if you look at the receiving carboy, you can see it's degassing as it's going. That's why I love this all-in-one wine pump. You know, there's nothing worse than like doing your wine, having it finish, having it in a bottle, and then open up a bottle and find out it's not really degassed all the way. Is there anything you could do to take gas out during the process? You're golden. Alright, so one of the things that you can see, the sawdust at the end of this tip, that's a little bit of an issue right now, right? But I want to get more wine in there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. Clean that out. And try to get a little bit more wine out of that. Gas. It's clogged again, but it's degassing like crazy, so I'm just going to let it go a little bit. That is freaking awesome, right there. That is freaking awesome. Taking all that gas out of the wine. You see that? Alright, so what we did is we let the clog help us out here a little bit right so we did gas the wine a little bit and uh, from here what I'm going to do next is I want to let that go a little bit more and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stuff that came with the wine I have it in a ziploc tear a hole in that and put that on the line so I don't lose it. Okay, so everything is together. We're going to let that sit probably another two weeks. At this point, once it's in the carboy, I can just let it sit there for a little bit. I'm going to let it go another two weeks and test it then. And we'll go to the next step where we'll rack it again and add in the uh, stabilizers and sparkaloid. So stay tuned for that step. Hope you enjoyed watching this. And we'll catch you later. Take care. Thanks. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com, with the dashes in the middle. Or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have an awesome day.